Cancers and welcome to your monthly horoscope for the month of May. Um, before I jump into your horoscope, I just want to quickly let you know that on my website, astrologygrace.com, I am now offering a few different kinds of readings in addition to just, you know, birth chart natal readings. So I'm now offering synastry readings, or also known as couples readings or relationship readings. It doesn't have to be romantic. And I'm offering a monthly forecast for your specific birth chart uh, to look at your specific month in an to look at your forecast for a specific month so make sure to check those out if you're interested i also have many versions of all of them for a less expensive version of these so since the end of march you know you've been feeling more supported and independent overall you just kind of feel like you can take on more this month may is going to be a month where you can really have things the way that you want them and you can kind of create the life you've been wanting to have um you know you're not nearly as worried or apprehensive about other people's approval as you have been in the past or as you typically tend to be. So this is just a really great time to, you know, hold yourself accountable for your own happiness. And right now, during this month, um, it's a really great time for you to make changes. You don't want to wait to make them later because it might be more difficult in the future than it is right now at this very time. You don't want to neglect your finances this month and you're going to notice that your friends seem more helpful during the month of May. We're going to start the month with the sun in Taurus, um, and it's going to be in your 11th house, and then it will move into your 12th house, and it will move into the sign of Gemini. So you're going to take a break, you know, after all the energy that you've been putting into your career or in your or towards your goals, and you're going to want to feel, you're going to want to spend more time socially. Um, it's going to be a good time for you to socialize, you know, hang out with your friends, um, and, you know, networking can happen during this time as well. It might also be a good time to use social media if that's a way to you, that you promote yourself or that you use towards your goals, your career, your job, anything like that. Or just to like, you know, um, use it um, to get in contact with friends. During this time you might get involved in like a team, a group, an organization of sorts um, with people that are kind of on the same page as you and you know don't be afraid to join something new as the sun moves into your 12th house it's going to be a great time for you to take a break you know chill out relax kick back and focus on your inner self and what's important to you you might be a little bit more vulnerable during this time because of this placement and there might be more of a you know risk that you could be taken advantage of so just be aware of that and um you know just watch out for that you want to watch your health um during the second half of this month because you could be more prone to like a cold the virus the flu something along those lines so just make sure that you're taking care of yourself you know eating healthy exercising taking your vitamins stuff along those lines not you know um make sure you're sleeping enough mercury is going to be moving through your 10th 11th and at the very end of the month your 12th house so your career at the beginning of this month is really going to benefit um, even though you're kind of taking a little bit of a break from putting so much energy and work into it all that work is going to pay off during this time it's going to be you know a really great opportunity for you to finally get some attention maybe you've been wanting work-wise or goal-wise um, either from like a boss or from the public or whatever it is that you're working on it's going to be a good time for it to finally get noticed so if you are working in a traditional kind of workspace with a boss it's a really good time to kind of get to know that person or anybody who has some kind of a authoritative role in your career or goals take the initiative to take on a little bit more or try something new in terms of like your work um, or your business or whatever it is you're doing this could be at school as well definitely could apply to like high school middle school um, college you know as you move into the middle of the month teamwork is really gonna help you benefit so you might be involved in some kind of a group project whether it's at school um, in a hobby you're involved in at your job and it's really gonna benefit you to get involved in the group and work with other people definitely want to take time to to like look over the goals you have for yourself and start to figure out um, if they're really working for you, if there's other goals you should make, goals that you should eliminate. Your Venus is gonna start out in your 12th house and then move into your first house. So while it's in the 12th house, it's again, really great time for a little bit of alone time, um, especially in your romantic life. Um, you know, whether you're single, it might be a good time to just be single, or if you have a partner, um, you might just want to kind of like relax with them, chill out, take a little break from the world. Um, but you're also gonna be feeling 
social. So you're going to have a little bit of both where you kind of just want to relax or just kind of like take it easy and chill with some friends. You might also just have a few days during this time where you just want to be alone and be creative, read, write, you know, paint, do whatever it is that you enjoy, do music, something along the lines of the way that you can express yourself creatively. It's going to be a great time for that. You might be drawn to like a volunteer opportunity um, and you also might have somebody close to you end up in a hospital situation so just be aware that that might occur um, whether it's like a friend or a relative your sixth sense is going to be really strong during this time like you might kind of know things like before they happen um, and you might be able to read people easier um, just kind of get a feeling of people during the second half of the month you're going to be feeling again more social and you're going to kind of have a conflict of this throughout the month um, because of your sun placement and your Venus placement kind of conflicting where they are in the houses. You're going to kind of feel social and like you need alone time during both times of the month. But you're going to definitely have this power of attraction that draws people to you. You're going to be like more popular towards others and charming. And it's definitely a good time to like meet a new love interest during the second half of the month. Or to kind of spark up, you know, some new romance in a current relationship that you have. Your Mars is going to start out in the 7th and move its way into the 8th. So you're going to have your passion really feel inspired and like sparked at the beginning of the month but sometimes you know Mars can move quickly and it can cause you to be impatient when it comes to like your love life or your romance your partnerships your relationships and you can either like come on too strong or just want too much too quickly um, and it can kind of cause any relationships or potential relationships to suffer a bit so just try to uh, put the brakes on a little bit and compromise you know anytime you have a placement in the seventh house it's always very important to remember to compromise and you know take to both people's um, opinions into consideration because if you're not compromising you might come across some conflict in your relationships there might be some issues you know with advice from a prof professional during the first half of the month whether it's like a teacher or a lawyer a doctor so just like take any advice you're getting from anybody in a professional nature with a grain of salt as mars moves into your eighth house you want to definitely be careful with your money things might seem like they're a really good deal and you might want to just go for it but definitely read the fine print um do your research because things that seem like a good deal during this time probably aren't you might have a boost in your earnings which is great so it's a good time to like reassess any financial plans that you have for yourself you might get some money coming your way that you didn't expect um so that's always a good thing the sun is going to be opposite jupiter for the first half of the half of the month up until around the 15th so you're going to feel optimistic but sometimes overly so and you're not going to be as practical as maybe you typically tend to be um so my advice is to just not overdo anything um because you're feeling good about it it's great to feel positive but you just don't want to let yourself get carried away because that could lead to like loss or issues um or just negative things that you don't need so just be aware of that you're gonna you're gonna have this desire for something like bigger or better than you already have you're just gonna really want to expand or grow um, but again, you have to make sure to be practical because it's not going to work out for you if you're just jumping into things um, because of that want or need for them. Um, so just be aware that you should try to be as practical as possible during this time and, you know, be responsible if you can. During the 14th to the 22nd, Mercury is going to be trining Saturn. And for you, it's going to be a really important time to you know, organize and pay attention to like serious things that are going on in your life. Just kind of buckle down in general, even though you have been kind of relaxing, you might have like this week might be a little bit more serious and work related to you in some sort of way. And I feel like the funnest time you might have to like really, like I said, buckle down and take care of some sort of a serious matter during this time. During that period, you're going to be feeling like very clear and you're going to have a real sense of clarity. So Yes, you might have to really apply yourself more than you have been because um, you've been kind of taking a break, but you're definitely going to feel good about it. Um, and if there's been problems that have kind of been like eating away at you, this is going to be a really good time for you to resolve them. So that is your horoscope for the month of May. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video. And as always, have a good day or night.